Welcome to today's Black History Makers featuring Whitney Wiley. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of today's Black History Makers. It's my honor and privilege to introduce to you Whitney Wiley, who is an author, speaker, and leadership coach. Thank you for being with us today, Whitney. Thank you for having me, Sherry. It's an honor, absolute honor. Usually I'm interviewing you, right? <laughs> this is true. This is true. That's why it's my honor to be interviewing you today. So as the CEO of Dream Big with Sherry, I'm always interested in learning how big other people think. So I'd love to ask you as a fellow dreamer, what's your big beyond imagination dream to impact the world? You know, it's interesting that you ask this because this is a dream that I've been thinking about for quite a while and I've gotten wrapped up in my work and sort of have put this on the back burner. And just this morning, as I was in my quiet time, the nugget was dropped in again. And I was like, I can't believe you've not been paying attention to this. So um, I'll tell you what it is and then a little bit of the backstory. So okay. my big dream is to start a foundation. And the foundation would be one that would um, provide a particular service, which I don't want to share right now, but it will provide a particular service that's in my zone of genius. Um, and it would also fund education and other services to other organizations um, for Black boys and young men in particular. And so the backstory is this. My son, um, who passed away 15 years ago, had gotten into some trouble um, in school with the law and ultimately the, some choices that he made and the path that he was on eventually led to the circumstance that led to his death. So um, it's something that I had started thinking about, not immediately after his death, but sometime. And I thought if we could provide this service to young boys and men, um, it, and it's something that most of them do not have access to. It's not something that's taught in school. It's not something that's part of any other program that I'm aware of, um, that we could do something really great. And just yesterday, and maybe this is why it came to me this morning, just yesterday I heard I was listening to something on YouTube and the, the speaker said, if we solve the problem of black men in America, we solve like almost all the problems that we have in this society. Now, I don't know if that's totally true or partially true, but I know that I have an answer to a part of that problem. So um, that's where I am. It's something that's going to take like millions and millions of dollars to do. Uh, totally something outside of my realm, uh, current knowledge um, and my ability to do by myself. But I know that in my purpose, in my gifts, that the answer lies in that. So, And I think I, I know a couple people to put in your path. So totally. that's exciting for me because I love being a connector. So I will talk about that because there's definitely a gentleman that you need to meet. So awesome. anyway, thank, thank you for you. sharing that. I know that, that that's, a, that's a hard thing, but it's also proof that a lot of times beautiful things are born of tragedy and yeah. trauma. And um, I applaud you for, for oh. continuing to take that step to, um, you know, bring something really positive um, from something that was really hard for you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So as you are making history today, as we speak, and you're definitely going to be making history doing that, what historic Black trailblazers have inspired your journey, Whitney, and paved your way for success? You know, the, the list is probably endless, but I have, like you're doing this series for uh, Black History Month. I've been doing something in one of my groups that has focused on inventors. And so what I would say is the characteristic of the person that really inspires me is one who dreams, first of all, 
Um, and they do, they see a need and they feel that need based on um, their gifts, their talents. And they do it despite the odds. They do it despite um, lack of support, whether that's financial or people or whatever. Um, and some of the people that I have highlighted um, during this month, inventors, um, was Ellen Elgin. And, and she invented, you know, something that's, you think about it, all of these inventions are really simple, but they're needed and they have created industries since the time they were invented. So she invented a clothes wringer, right? If you think about, the, you know, when you, we used to wash clothes by hand and then you either had to wring it out. Well, the thing that has the crank, yep. right? And that led to what they use as part of modern day washers, um, clothes washers. And then Henry Blair um, invented a corn planter and it made it possible to plant corn in a more efficient and effective way. And so the, what I love about inventors is that they just do what is needed, right, to make life a little easier for them. And it, it, it lives on in perpetuity in other inventions. And the reason that I think that Black inventors are um, so important in history and mean so much to me, one, I was a science geek as a kid, so I like those kinds of things. But the, the other thing is that they were up against lots of odds. You know, um, inventors that were slaves, their inventions were actually technically for a period of time owned by their slave owners, right? And they didn't get credit for that. Uh, but they did these things anyway. And, and that's the part of their story that I love. It's like going beyond the odds and, and doing what they could do with the gifts and talents and knowledge without education. And so uh, those are the things that inspire me. Oh, and I love that because like that really points, that pinpoints that courage because when you're, I mean, it's one thing to be creative and have those kinds of ideas, but to have the courage to lean in when it's hard is really awesome. So Absolutely. Great. What, a, what an amazing couple people. I love that. Yeah. Um, so as you are making history today, uh, Whitney, what would you say 50 to 75 years from now, if we were to fast forward through our lives, what is somebody going to be saying about Whitney Wiley that about the impact that you've had on them or the legacy that you've left, basically, how are you going to be remembered? So I would love to be known right now and then remembered in the future for being someone who loved, served, and gave, right? I feel like my life's purpose is to glorify God. And in doing that, it's simple. He asks us to love him with our whole heart, soul, mind, and body, and to love others as we love ourselves. So I see my role here is to love, is to serve, and to give. And the way I do that is different than the way you do that, right? Because we have different gifts and talents and, right. and interests and personalities that are unique to us. All these combinations of things are unique to us. I think the the numbers that they've computed is like we're one in 400 trillion, right? And That's so right. I am, I, I'm going to do what, I'm going to love in a way that's totally different than you love. And you are an unrepeatable miracle, you know. Exactly. Like absolutely, absolutely. And because of that, right, the what I'm going to do specifically is going to be different. But the, the bottom line is that the impact comes through that. And so um, if those are the only three words that people remember me by or talk about me by right now, you know, as I help people um, navigate their their leadership journey or their career journey and say that she loved, she gave, she served. And because of that, you know, I have been able to step into my purpose. I've been able, able to step into my greatness to understand what my zone of genius is. And so the people that I'm working with now 
will use that, change the, the trajectory and legacy of their families. And that's how the legacy of whatever happens 50 years from now, someone's child or grandchild uh, 50 years from now, great grandchild, maybe even 50 years from now. So my family's, you know, the, the path my family was on was changed because, you know, Whitney Wiley was involved with my grandmother, a great grandfather, whatever. That's amazing. And that's like impact at its, you know, pinpoint. I love it. Exactly. So Whitney, I'm sure people were very inspired today. And how, if they want to work with you, whether it's in a leadership role, or maybe they're excited about the potential project that you're talking about, um, that you're developing, how would they get in contact with you, Whitney? So a great way to get in contact with me is through LinkedIn. Um, it's easy. And Whitney is W-H-I-T-N-I-E. Uh, Wiley, W-I-L-E-Y. You can search for me, find me there, or Google me. I'll pop up somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I appreciate it so much. And wow, I've learned a lot today. So I thank you so much. And I appreciate you being one of the honorees in today's Black History Makers. Oh. Thank you so much for being here, Whitney. Thank you, Sherry. I am completely honored and um, you're doing a great service. So thank you. Thank you.